What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of Arca's Path VR on the PlayStation VR, releasing on Tuesday, December the 4th, for a price that was not in their press material, so I do not know. As always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher, this VR game does not need a controller. So let's get into that and explore the marble rolling in Arca's Path VR. I have played a few levels here, so I'm going to hop back into the level select and show you of these first few levels here. There are 25 levels. I've played the first eight or so. And we're going to hop in here to like three and kind of give you a feel for the different environments you will experience here in Arca's Path VR and what this game is and what this game does. So at its core, this is a marble rolling game. And if you know me, you know I love games like Super Monkey Ball and Marble Blast Ultra, games of that ilk. Even Marble Madness back in the day was a favorite of mine. So, this game, you only use the headset to control. So you can see there, I am this triangle, right? You put the triangle in the circle. It syncs up the gyro in the headset. And you are this little dodecahedron marble type thing. And basically where you're pointing with your with the triangle is where the marble rolls. Now, obviously, it begins very, very simply. And these early stages did kind of remind me of a game called Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll, which used the Wii balance board, which was pitifully easy because of all the walls on the sides of the stage. But I assure you, Having played the first nine stages now, the first eight stages, this game does ramp up and it does stop holding your hand at a certain point. Now, because I've already finished this stage, I've gotten most of the gems you can collect. And when you collect all of the gems, then you unlock a time trial version of the stage. Which I am not allowed to show for some reason, I don't know why, I embargo things, but there. I hit a, I hit a checkpoint. And the game is very good about if you collected a thing and then fell off the stage, it still stays collected. So that is a big bonus points on that succeed. Here, there aren't any sides here. You you can fall off and we'll head back to the checkpoint. But if I have one complaint thus far, is that I think the sound of the marble rolling here is a little bit too loud for my tastes. It's helpful to know how fast you're going, but it's a little bit too loud for my personal taste. So, there you go. There's a bridge. Checkpoint. Hit that bridge. So, this is the kind of game where you can show people who don't really have it played VR, you know? That perhaps would be intimidated by having to use either a DualShock 4 or two move controllers. Now, obviously... If you had a racing wheel, things like that, I'd obviously a bit easier to explain in VR. But this seems pretty much like a good... Oh, I just got a gold medal for something. Or a bronze or... Yeah, it's like a... It's a bronze. I got a bronze for something. I don't know what. But I need it. So, go me, I suppose. So, yes, there would have been a thing up here, but I already got it. And then I just fell off there because I was pointing it out. So, that's the other thing here is that you got to really be on par and really be on the ball with your neck movements the entire time. Because if you want to go look at something, you'll start rolling toward that something, and that can be a little bit distracting. A, li a little bit much, right? But you had the option, right? If I wanted to hold this, I get a free look. I can just look around and say, all right, where's the gems? Where's the things? How does this thing look here? What's the VR thing going on here with that? And that will do that, and then you can hold it again to return from the free look. Now, some of these platforms, I understand they're making it very, very easy on you, but some of them can take a long time to go back up or back down when you kind of just want to move on with the stage. So, it's a little bit of waiting on those, but that gets less and less as you go further and further. Like, they go a bit faster as you get further because they're, they're assuming that you're learning how to play the game, and it's important to learn how to play the game. <sighs> And then you do that, and you head up here. And it's a bit of a steep climb, but you can still make it just barely. Just barely. So you can see, that one's going down, but it's not going to stay down long enough for me to get to it. And I'm going to sit here and wait for a little bit. And that's going to be hmm, annoying. Like, it's obviously not, not, not a deal breaker, but still. And you can see, the blue line kind of over there is further in the stage. And kind of where the stage direction is going to take you. 
and that kind of thing. So we're going to head up this toward the next checkpoint. So far I haven't seen any gems that I've missed, but I could have totally missed them again. I don't I don't think I, I, got, I got all the gems in this stage. There are some gems that have to be played the stage twice, like that. You, you, you can't get both that you want because there are different paths in a stage, and that obviously is encouraging some replayability, and obviously when you unlock the time trial, that would also encourage you to see, right over there, there are some gems. That would also encourage you to replay the stage once you unlock the ability to go as fast as you can. Now, I don't know if there are any leaderboards for that, or if it's just a personal goal, because I can't show it here in the video, so I'm not going to show it here in the video, because Attack Slug respects embargoes and such. But, you know, it's a quick preview of what this is and what this does, and honestly, in the first five minutes, you probably already have an idea of what this is. It's not super complex, but I will say, get it, get it, get it, it is super fun to play. And that, with any VR game, is kind of the crux of the argument, is, oh no! Now see, I fell off, right? But I get to keep those gems that I got, so I don't have to go get them again and potentially fall off again, which is very important. Very important. So, you can kind of get an idea of where the stage is going to go with the blue lines here, but not, not 100%, but certainly a cool effect of having the stage built in front of you. Certainly played enough games that, that have done that, like, say, a Bastion, if I recall correctly. It's been a while. And they kind of hit max speed here, you just start trucking. And I will say, in terms of comfort and your comfort level, I have felt... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I have felt fine this entire time. And I think that perhaps because they're using the gyro to track the entire game and not using the camera for the PS4 to track where the world is, that means that... Oh, there's another one, too. That means that you're not getting the world drift. Oh, no, go over there. Go over there. The world drift that you'll get in a lot of PSVR games. Now, certainly, this is out on all major VR platforms. So if you have an Oculus, or if you have a Rift, or an Oculus Go, or Windows Mixed Reality, whatever, it should be on those platforms too, and those have better tracking than PSVR has with this stupid camera, right? So there is that. Now then, back to the main, into the main menu. We'll hit up one more stage here to finish off this video. I'm going to hit continue and pick up where I left off, which is stage number nine. And here we go. Different environment. Now also, we have a story here that is being told with no words. So there are cutscenes, very very co comic book stylized cutscenes you will get that have no words in them. And those will kind of give you the idea of what's going on. Basically, a VR visor landing on this trash planet and you are trying to bring back life and plants and, you know, nature to this trash planet, essentially. Or at least that's the vibe that I got from watching those cutscenes. But, see there, I need to have that... I need to have that, uh... Make it! Oh my god. You need to have that speed here, right? So, gotta hit that, and then make that jump. So you gotta kind of point way far. Oh, wait, that doesn't actually work that way. Certain walls only break one way. So, I think the idea here is to head up. Don't jump. Head back. Yeah, smash that. Make that climb. Okay, I was doing it wrong. So, there you go. Learning things every day. Make that jump. So yes, it does get more tricky. And here's a new mechanic. Some blocks can be pushed. Assuming only from the solid side here with the plywood. Yes, okay. Good to know. Good to know. So yes, more complex as it goes along. More game mechanics. For such a simple premise, they're adding more things to it which I always appreciate, having played a lot of Marble Rolling games, like Marble Skies on the PC. Uh, I haven't played Marble It Up yet, but I want to a lot, so at some point I'll be able to afford that and get that for a video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, no, see, um, there we go. Point that way, and then drop down, and don't fall off is the crux of any Marble game. Just don't fall off. And then boom, boom, wait, wait, hold on. I need that. Boom! Checkpoint! 
And then do this here. Like that. And then, yep. There goes that. Draw bri Oh, faster, 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 faster! Just barely. Alright, here, here's the... I don't know if it's a puzzle, but it definitely is something. And most of these walls don't have sides. Or most of these lanes don't have sides on them, which is means I gotta be a little bit more... How do I get that one? What? Wait, what? Like I said, you can't necessarily get every... Oh, wait. I see. I see. It's a... It's a thing to sit on. Careful! But again, there's no real penalty for falling off when you hit that checkpoint, and you always get the things that you already have when you... Like, that's gonna happen. Like an idiot. Oh, there's one over there! Oh, wait. I missed that one. What the hell happened here? I didn't even see that one. They were hiding it on me. You crafty son of a guns. So yeah, you can see I already have the ones I already had. So now it's just a matter of getting back around and not falling off like an idiot. Like a clumsy idiot. There. Now does this continue on? It does, and I fell off again. And I fell off again! So, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Let's try to finish this stage. And then we can finish this video. So, oops, 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 almost, almost botched that, almost botched that. So, there's one more over here, this way. Don't you dare fall off, don't you dare fall off. So yes, the amount of concentration it can take, if you just lose your neck for a second, for a second, you can end up in the abyss and on to the wild blue or, I guess, green yonder at this point. Uh, so definitely, focusing is the main thing here. I mean, you could pause it if, you know, your neck's starting to hurt or whatever, but I feel like, conceptually, this does exactly what it needs to do, and is exactly what it needs to be, and I love games like that. And certainly, as a fan of the genre, and as a fan of VR in general, I would say definitely play this, but also I don't know how much it costs because that was not in their press material, so I cannot give you my opinion on the value proposition of this game, which I always like to do whenever games get sent to me in my email inbox. So, that being said, we should be almost at the end here. I feel like it's got to be close. It's got to be close. All right, there's a bunch of gems here, and I'm going to save those ones for later. So I'm just going to go do on this one here, and go on this side, and do this side. Something else to play later. So let's just go make this jump, and hopefully that that is the finish line here. Oh my god, that was so... And then through! Nice. That was awesome. That was awesome. And there we go. That is the end of the stage. That is the end of my video for Arca's Path in PlayStation VR, launching on all VR platforms this week, Tuesday the 4th. Uh, thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.